Hello. Hi, David Sarita, Shanat Soni here. David and I are just going to have our powwow. We met over a year ago, thanks to Sasha Stone. And today we wanna to focus on the electromagnetic field and its effect on our body, its effect on our mood, its effect on our aura, and uh, how electromagnetic field, when we truly understand the pros and cons of it, we can make ourselves more healthy in spite of the negative electromagnetic field around us in the form of gadgets and so forth. And so David Sarita, uh, Sasha calls him frequency guru. I call him, he's like a one man uh, who knows everything about everything. So we are going to mm -hmm. touch on electromagnetic field. And David, thank you for joining me here. Thank you, Shanaz, <laughs> for having me. So yeah, so I mean, you're such a bright, energetic person, and you're 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 very knowledgeable. So this is going to be easy to explain. This first thing to understand is that human brain waves that come off of the brain are electromagnetic waves. So you would say a radio, like if you tune into your favorite radio station, that's an electromagnetic wave. And all of the, the sunlight that comes from the sun, if you split it with a raindrop or a prism, you get nine primary colors. And all of those colors start in the trillion, you know, up at the mid to upper trillion Hertz bands. And they come down in, and they come into our bodies and our heart also, they, they actually met, of course, we can measure human brain waves. You know, you, you connect EEG, electroencephalogram nodes to the brain, and you can measure delta waves, which are really long, slow waves, by the way. A delta wave, zero to four hertz approximately. A four hertz wave is bigger than our planet. Just Let's just put it that way. And then when, when you come out of delta, you come into the theta part of the brain. And we, we tend to dream in theta, and theta um, spans, upper theta is the same frequency that Tesla and Schumann measured the, the, the frequency of Earth at 7.83 hertz fundamental, which, mm -hmm. which just means it's the fundamental frequency, which is based on the wavelength circumference of the Earth, right? So that means our brain waves in our dreaming state correspond to the to the frequencies of our own planet, which I find very fascinating. The, the amplitude, which is the, the amount of punch or power in a wave of our planet ha is far more powerful in amplitude than a single human brain wave at theta. But when you're awake in theta, you're very relaxed, you're really grounded. And then when you when you go, so you go um you go to delta theta alpha the next stage is alpha brain waves which is where we get into coherency and focus and we have a left and right brain the the right brain corresponds to the left body and the the left brain corresponds to the right body and you have the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system autonomic nervous system and your your conscious nervous system which means i'm going to move my arm now autonomic is things like breathing and heartbeat and and so your nervous system is actually an electrical system. And the heart is actually a Dartmouth College. They actually measured using squid magnetometers. The magnetic field of the heart was stronger than the brain. Yes. So, so we, we run, basically, we live on electrolytes, you know, about six or seven primary electrolytes, sodium, salt, right? And then you have potassium and you have magnesium, and you have calcium, which is your primary electrolyte, and you have lithium, So you and you have phosphorus. So we get our electrolytes. Electrolytes are not like minerals. Like minerals would be iron, copper, zinc, et cetera. Right. And, 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 the, and the, the minerals are more of the, the, see, electricity moves through a conductor. They're the conductors. And we have all the trace minerals in our body. We even have a little bit of uranium in us, believe it or not. Wow. We have we have everything in us. So when you, your battery, basically, just like the batteries of a car today and your cell phone is lithium, right? Lithium you'll find in pistachio nuts and lemon. And, you know, you get trace amounts of that electrolyte. All of your electrolytes, by the way, are emitting 
I, I actually like to show this. Can you give me? Yeah, me a you share should be able to share. So go ahead and share. So let's go search, uh, for example, calcium. And I just want people to see this because most people have no clue what I'm about to show you. Okay, so you go to Zoom. This is the the foundation of the human electrical system. Okay. So when you go to... Let's see. I'm not uh, fully shared yet, so go ahead and share. Oh, boy. Where is my... I've got so many windows open, I can't see which one I want to be on. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, there it is. Calcium right there. Okay. So you see on Wikipedia, here's calcium. But here's the one thing we don't know. is See the spectral lines of calcium here? Yes. If I click on that, in the rainbow spectrum, if, mm -hmm. if I light calcium on fire or I, elect, I, I charge it with electricity, it's going to release color band frequencies. And calcium is, you're going to, because I'm going to show you all the electrolytes, is giving us, you have to understand, color, light is frequency, and frequency is energy. Yes. So a blue photon has, will transfer more energy than a red photon. So when you, when you go up in frequency, and notice how deep the, the green bands are in the, in the calcium. Calcium is, is primary electrolyte for humans. We store it in our bones. And if you're not getting enough calcium in your diet, you're, you're really going to suffer. And it's gonna, you're going to start stealing it from your bones. And then if you get really calcium deprived, you hallucinate, which means you can become what we call mentally ill. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm going to go um, to, um, let's Google um, potassium. Potassium is in your fruit, right? So we go to, um, right. okay, wait a second, I'm trying, I'm trying to find the Wikipedia potassium. Potassium, what well, usually I get Wikipedia right away. Okay, there we go. Because can you see the potassium? Yes. Very good, I'm glad it's showing. Now look at my spectral lines. They're in different positions, right? I don't have as much green as I have calcium. Right. And what, what I'm going to demonstrate to you is all of your electrolytes, which is your battery. Right. And a lot of people who experience depression are not really depressed. They're physically depressed because their battery is not full spectrum. Mm -hmm. So all the color lines in the potassium have, have, have shifted away. Right now I'm going to show you sodium which is salt. So your blood is saline, right? And your tears. Yeah. So you can't live without salt. When a person's um, sodium gets down, you see, totally different spectral lines, a lot of blue. So sodium is really high frequency stuff, right? Right. So from the heat in the body, because all crystals are pyroelectric and piezoelectric, which means even the heartbeat and the pulse gives enough pressure as a pressure wave and the brain waves to stimulate the crystals to emit. But we're, we're looking here at sodium. I would say most of the density of sodium is in the upper blues. Now, you can also see how each of these colors corresponds to the seven chakras, right? You know, red yes. is sex chakra, right? This is navel. Yellow is your adrenaline center. Heart center, right, is green turquoise you know and you're getting up into the communication center with blue and the indigo deeper blues and the violet is way up here but right. you, so would you okay. say that these color correlation directly have relationship with the chakra based on the minerals like you know whether it's sodium or potassium or calcium right well, these are these are electrolytes so your your minerals are yeah, your electrolytes yes phosphor phos Or I'm not sure if I'm still there. You go, phosphorus. So here's phosphorus. Now, this is a hard one to get. You can go to the supplement store and get phosphorus, right? Okay. And you can see phosphorus is loaded with green. You see how you see how your calcium didn't have much green. This is a lot of green here, right? 
Right. Good amount of blue, but when these lines are thicker, it means there's more amplitude in these color bands. Lots of of orange, right? Some a few lines in red, but this is now phosphorus is in fertilizer, but it's 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 a luminous chemical. It makes us luminous. It's in the grains, right? Right. So phosphorus is in grains. It's also going to be in your seeds, like sunflower seeds. And so people who go on no carb diets, you're killing yourself because the brain will die without phosphorus. It'll actually malfunction and die. In fact, right now, phosphorus is one of the biggest problems in agriculture in that there's only one more massive phosphorus line mine left on earth um, and it's in the middle east somewhere mm -hmm. my neighbor who's an engineer was telling me about the phosphorus crisis so if you don't have phosphorus in your soil your, your, your veggies are going to be small your fruits etc you, you've got a real problem now again it's used it, it's it's in the grain so it's in the wheat and again, this creates a luminous, bright mind, right? And I, I find it interesting that LSD, which comes from air goat, which is a fungus that lives on grains, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, when you take LSD, which I've never done, by the way, because I meditate, I've been meditating every day for 45 years, and I get super high naturally, so I don't, I don't need any LSD. But basically, the, the psychedelic experience people are, ha are having is all the color bands are being released from the electrolytes like rainbows shining into the luminosity of the mind. Right. right? So, And doesn't that have to do with the pineal gland activation? Because when you actually do that, your chemical... Um... Yeah, your pineal gland is the light bulb of, of the head, right? right? So as long as you're getting your electrolytes, you're going to see when you get a pineal gland activation, you naturally have psychedelic experiences that are true. You see all these beautiful lights. And like when I go to sleep, like last night when I went to sleep, the, it ju I just see this bright light. And I think my kids have the light on in the house and I open my eyes and it's pitch black, right? When you do these exercises that I can show people, you start to activate, but you... It's primary to get all your electrolytes. You, the thing when you go buy an electrolyte drink, there's no phosphorus. Mm. It's a very unstable chemical and, and can be dangerous in large quantities. It's flammable. Phosphorus means light bringer, right? In right. Greek. So now let's go to... So while you're going, I wanted to touch on the luminescence part of the phosphorus because mm. that kind of connects with the shiny one. Right. See, that's why when 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 Jesus gave the sacrament as bread to in the ritual and the breaking of bread, you know, in the old world, there, there, there are some arguments that there might have been ergo on the grain because they didn't know what it was and didn't remove it. Mm -hmm. And this is an argument of Brian Moreski that people were some people were actually taking a, a mild amount of hallucinogen. Uh, which we would say is natural, right? Like if, so basically, your your the the ergot is living off of phosphorus. So it's it's basically the phosphorus is like. Have Have you ever seen phosphorescence, for example, in the ocean? When you see this beautiful glow in the ocean, it's like a yes, a, like a turquoise bluish kind of light. Now here's what's shocking: when I look at the spectral lines of lithium, <laughs> wow. this is running. This is running our cars, by the way. It's got one good band in green, right. a thin band in orange. It's only got three bands. Yeah. It's not very psychedelic stuff. <laughs> it's pretty, <laughs> pretty much just heart chakra mainly, right? Right. So that's lithium. And there's one. So what did I miss? So I've got. Um, so you. Potas it? Magnesium. Let's look at magnesium. Yes. Magnesium. Magnesium is good for the heart it's um there's your magnesium and again magnesium doesn't have a lot of lines it, it's really mainly turquoise where you see and what's amazing to me when i did the calculations of the holy of holies temple solomon's temple and i i i i, I take i start in the trillion hertz bands of each color and i divide it by a musical octave and i come down and i come down and i come down and when i get to the bottom guess what 
the frequency of Earth, 7.83 hertz, is a green octave. Hence, mm -hmm. all the plants are green. You know, the foundation of plants are green and grass is green. So it, it makes perfect sense, the theory that I'm telling you. And, and Solomon's temple, the Holy of Holies is turquoise. It's a turquoise octave. Mm. So there, there's your magnesium. And so very thin lines in blue. There are some thin lines here, but I would say the greater portion of the magnesium is there. So the point in showing everybody all this is to because when we're going to get into pulsed electromagnetic therapy devices and magnetic field devices is to understand the the food of the nervous system is the electrolytes the conductivity is the minerals so we need our electrolytes and our trace minerals and we should get a good amount of those if we're eating from all the five or so food groups if you're cutting out a food group, or believe me, if you cut out your calcium and you try to live on, on vegan calciums, which I did for years, and I started to develop back pain, leg pain, all these pains in my bones, your, your, your nervous system needs it. It will steal the calcium from your bones and make them, you can develop osteoporosis this way. Right. And if a person is is really getting their calcium from vegan sources make sure your 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 bones aren't starting to hurt that you don't have signs of bone disease because all these electrolytes that i just showed you are in your bones including the phosphorus it's not just calcium and your teeth and your skull yeah. So when we starve ourselves from a food group, for example, which I did, I did the whole theory of low carbs. I would barely touch a piece of bread. You start to have problems, right? Right. Because I wasn't so getting my phosphorus. Yeah. So you're saying electrolytes and minerals are the key for you to keep your human craft sustainable. And when you compromise it through diets, uh, then you are you will have a long-term effect. And a lot of time, like even keto diet, right? I mean, people are doing it. And sometimes it takes a long time for people to come to that. Very um, dangerous. I did the keto diet. You're blocking your carbs. So you're blocking your phosphorus. You're, you're going to kill the brain. You'll be okay for a while because if you have it, you have phosphorus in your bones. But after three or four years of keto diet, you're in trouble. Right. And also you're compromising your natural process of uh, having the ketone, you know, like because you want to make sure that there are natural processes is in place to actually truly help you when needed. And when you start kind of bypassing those natural process, what you're doing is you are, you are definitely changing the way your whole body dynamic works naturally. And, and that to me is always something that I, I feel like I have to follow what makes sense and not what somebody creates. Right, and exact, yeah. for another example is salt. So there, See, my wife died um, I, over a year ago, and the doctors, I, I went through her medical files very slowly in, in, in the last six months, and I see this doctor wrote in Arizona, hyponatremia. So I, I googled hyponatremia, and hyponatremia is seriously low salt, right? Mm. She was at 132, and there was a study, and, and how did this happen first before? Okay, there's a study done in California, and these hikers who were all hospitalized drinking tons of water in Yosemite and they almost died. And they, they, they had serious, um, what do they call um, uh, nerve damage and heart damage. And they wondered why they got so messed up because they had two of them had grand mal seizures. Their sodium was 132, mm. sorry, 131. My wife was 132 and guess how it happened? Breastfeeding. So when my wife was vegan, and she had two kids and she fed between the two of them six years of breastfeeding. So she's losing all her calcium, all her sodium. And if the sodium is that low, the brain can die right there just with the sodium. That is true. So then you, and they only, the doctors only check potassium and sodium. They don't check calcium. Calcium is even more critical than sodium in that the, the person starts to hallucinate, which is what happened to my wife. Mm. and nobody noticed nobody improved her electrolytes and and within uh, within five years she died now because the brain died 
And I, nobody knew what it was. I was so mad when I read this. And this is why I've learned so much about the role electrolytes play in, in, in nervous system health. And here's another thing. All of the cognitive illnesses we see today, dementia, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. When I was a kid, there was this product that was always on the new on the on the TV, milk of magnesia, right? So milk of magnesia had sodium, potassium, magnesium, and they had a stable phosphate in there. Mm -hmm. And because their phosphate was too high, they banned the product and took it off the shelf. And it was right at that mark in history when all of a sudden everybody started getting Alzheimer's all the elderly people, because they weren't getting their electrolytes. Wow. Their brains were dying. In fact, I know, I've researched this. I know personally people who had their, a woman who had their mother in the hospital because she was, she was so out of it. And her sodium was super low and the doctors didn't do freaking anything because doctors are not nutritionists. They only look at the symptoms and want to give them some type of drug, but they're not understanding the root cause. The root cause is there's no electrolytes there. And, and for years, it steals it from their bones, which is why you'll see in a lot of these elderly people osteoporosis. Right, right. right. So I wanted to get into, so connection with the electrolytes and minerals and the electromagnetic field that we're getting bombarded with, right? Because I wanted to tell you, David, that I actually got this trifle meter, as you recommended. Right. And I started noticing the radio frequency around, especially this phone here, right? That we have it, uh, everybody has their phone right next to them because our life kind of depends on it. Our communication depends on it. Our work depends on it. And what I noticed with, with my phone, as soon as I turned this to radio frequency, my God, I mean, the amount of activity that I get, even when my phone is doing nothing, yeah, hold it up. Let me see what you're getting. I'm getting, uh, oh my God, I'm getting point uh, one eight eight. Well, oh, turn it to this. Turn it to me. Turn it to me. Oh, and you then, can see it. That's true. yeah. And then hold your phone. Yeah. That's watts per meter squared. Watts per meter. Yes. And right now the phone is not even on. Like, right? let me turn the screen on and see if it makes a change. So right now it's not looking too bad. But if you call me on this, okay. Phone, take the phone away. Take the phone away. The phone completely away. away. Now hold the meter up. Okay. And we're still tiny spikes. There's a few spikes. See, do you have a, um, <clears throat> oh, I'm still getting spikes. So <clears throat> do you have a smart meter in your house? Oh yeah. So it's interesting because they just upgraded. I don't know if that's your phone is what I'm saying. I'm still seeing the spikes. Yeah, it, they're flashing. That Those spikes look, they're so fast. It's, it's, it's more like I've seen spikes like that off smart meters. Do you know where your smart meter is? Yes, my smart meter, I believe, is like right, basically on the right hand side. So you tell everybody how to block a smart meter. Okay. So the way you block a smart meter is you don't want the radio that may not be your phone. That that may oh, so is that what you're saying that's coming from okay, now? Now take your phone and take it, like go put it somewhere else in the house and then come back. And I want to okay. see. And the thing is that right now my uh, computer is connected with the Ethernet because I did not want it the Wi-Fi. So I yeah, I, I have I use Ethernet in my office building over there. A, a, a computer. Now let's uh, hold it? it up. Yeah, you're still getting spikes. So that yeah. means it's independent of the phone. It has nothing to do with the phone because that's not what phone radiation looks like. I, I know what phone radiation looks like. It's actually a single phone. What I do, Shanez, is okay. I when I'm on my phone, I set it down, don't touch it, talk on speaker mode, and you're fine. Okay. Because once you're two feet away from your phone or a foot and a half, it's so weak, right? Okay. Okay. And then also those spikes could be coming from your computer. Because believe it or not, even today's televisions, like I tested my TV yesterday. And I'm going to share something while you're talking about it, because I'll tell you why I'm sharing that. So hey, watch. So continue and speak. But so I'm... it's probably your computer sitting in front of you, even though you're on. Yeah, I know. Epri, so I wanted Epri? to tell you this, by the way. So the guy came and upgraded my smart meter. And that just happened like a few weeks ago. So I told him that, what are you guys doing? And why do we need? Anyway, I kind of did my best. But of course, you know, he still did whatever he did. He said that this is completely harmless and there is a paper 
So of course I told him to email me the paper, which is why I'm sharing that with you and I'll forward that to you. But I, I know you... Epri really well. I, okay, I, these, perfect. So then you no, go I read and... all their studies. They have done studies on leukemia and Down syndrome in, in children living near high tension power lines. And, okay. and they're very, here's the problem with most of the studies and why they've legally been able to increase our radiation, right? There's different kinds of radiation. Right. And we actually live on radiation, by the way. So, so we live on the radiation from the sun and from the earth and the cosmos. It's photosynthesis. So, right. so all photosynthesis of plants and why we sleep when there's no sunlight is because there's no, there's no stimulus. The brain, the brain basically collapses into a longer wavelength state, and then when the sun comes up, we get energized and we wake up. Exactly. So. When there's a full moon, people get agitated because the moon is, the wavelength is in the gamma part of the brain, which is the really high part of the brain. So it really irritates it. And then because there's a lot of light reflected off the moon and then it wakes people up. So, lunatic, right. Yeah, so well, lunatic. It's a direct relationship with the frequency, right. So it's not, it's not <clears throat> that, it's whether a magnetic field, electromagnetism is harmonious, harmonious, so we could actually run the internet on harmonious Fibonacci corresponding to the harmonies of natural brain rhythms, but we don't do that. We don't consider that the nervous system is an electrical system, and whenever there's electricity, there's a field. Just like I said at Dartmouth College, they measured the magnetic field of the human heart, which wherever there's energy, there's a field. Exactly, and wherever, the current creates yeah. the electromagnetic field. Yes. Right. And the resistance, if you put your fingers on a voltmeter and switch it to ohms, right? Well, I wanted voltmeter. to show you this while we're talking. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> what is that? Okay. So that's just because, you know, see, this hit, This is just something I bought for my son, by the way, to give him some understanding. But it's it, there's a foil here, right? And then you touch it, it generates, it, it just, it just proves what you're saying right that we are yeah we're conductive right when you couldn't electrocute a person if we weren't conductive <laughs> like I, like try to if i have a tesla coil it, it it doesn't the spark coming off the tesla coil will hit my finger and electrocute me and it hurts right for a second if i hold something non-conductive in front of it the spark doesn't care about it it won't touch it right now if i put water demineralized water will not conduct electricity barely at all because there's still a little bit of minerals in demineralized right. water. But if I add some salt and then check on my voltmeter, <laughs> there's the, it will conduct electricity. See, voltage means potential current, but without potential current, there's no current. Exactly. So volts times amps equals watts. Amps is your current, right? So we have tiny amperage in our nervous system. And any electrical system can be set on fire or inducted at a distance. So with all these microwave towers around us, if you live in a, in a city and walk around with this in RF mode, yes. you're going to see activity everywhere. Right. That's because everybody's cell phones and, and the signal coming off the tower is it'll go right through your brain. Why? Because you're a conductive. Now watch that. This is really going to freak you out. Now, if you take your trifield and put it on magnetic mode okay. right? and then hold it to your head hold it to your okay. head right now so put it in on front of the head. camera hold it to my head Do no no me? turn turn it sideways into the head so that the head of it i'll show me from there like this like this okay like that yeah i mean i i'm seeing a reflection i can't see now just tilt it a bit right it there's a tiny, really weak. So you're getting flashes, 0 0.1, 0 so What 0.2. does that mean? Now turn it to RF. Okay. And turn it to your head. So this, this meter goes up to 8 gigahertz. Oh, there's lots of it. Well, see your spikes that you're getting anyway, they, they'll go right through the head, right? Now, I know this um, because the head is a cavity, and nice. ele electromagnetic waves will bounce around in the skull. And... If you turn your, if, if your Wi-Fi was on in the house, I could really demonstrate this. Because I did this, because I have a wood-burning stove and I have a stovepipe. And I would hold my meter in RF mode up to the stovepipe and I'd see a little bit of activity and I'd take it away and there's none. When I, when mm -hmm. there's a power outage in the house, 
and there's no Wi-Fi, I come back to the stovepipe, nothing. Wow. So I can even come to clay jars and I can get a tiny reading on a clay jar when my Wi-Fi is on because those waves get stuck in cavities and they spin around in there and your skull is a cavity and it's got it's 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 made of calcium, magnesium, all the electrolytes we just talked about. Right, right. And collagen. So the the waves will bounce around in the skull and they'll they'll cause irritation. Yeah, and not only that, I just learned that the craniosacral has a pulse. And when you keep maintain that pulse, you can be healthy. But when you don't, and then when the pulse is off, it can be a problem. And to me, that is the thing that I'm concerned about. And I wanted you to go back to me and tell me when you saw the spike on the trifle meter and you said there's a way to protect uh, one from the smart meter, what are, what is- Okay, so if you want to block a smart meter, yeah, what you want to do is find out where the wall it is. Like I've measured it on my trifield and I see these huge spikes coming off my, see whenever it's sending data to the power company, right, right. you'll see, and they're big spikes. I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned about little spikes. Right. Because this meter is so sensitive. I mean, this is a much better meter because this meter here measures the. But this is, this is a big spike is what you're saying that I'm seeing, right? Well, those are pretty good spikes. It's probably coming from your computer in front of you, most likely. Hold it okay. closer to the screen, like even closer. Okay, so closer. Yeah, you're right. It gets kind of higher, right? See? Mm. I mean, it's kind of ranging. Yeah, mm -hmm. and th see, the way I would test somebody's home is I'd go over the house because another way we get, like, go go to magnetic mode. Go to MAG on your okay. standard. I'm on magnetic mode. And let me see that. Turn, turn it to me. Yeah, that's really low. That's your background, 0 0.1 milligauss. So let me show you. So okay. a milligauss, is, milli means thousands. So that's a thousandth right. of one gauss. And 10,000 Gauss is one Tesla. <laughs> when you go in an MRI machine, you're getting four to six Tesla. <laughs> so and that's 40,000, right. Oh, no, no, no. It's more than, because remember, a milligauss is a thousand Gauss. Okay. So you were just at 0 0.1 milligauss, so really low stuff, right? So nothing to worry about. What happens in some people's houses if, if their electrical ground is not proper then what i'm about to tell you to block a smart meter won't work because if you have you know four to six milligauss walking around the middle of the room and take your cell phone out of your pocket when you do this people um i'm concerned that your house isn't grounded properly electrically now here's how you block any electromagnetic energy see my house I had metal siding put up. <clears throat> right. Now that still won't block anything unless I ground it. Okay. So what I have to do is put a sheet of metal behind a nice picture that you like in a picture frame, right? And put it in front of the smart meter on the inside of the wall. You drill a hole in the metal plate. So let's say the metal plate can be almost any metal, by the way. And because I've tested this with, okay. with my meter. Right. And then I send a good like um 18 gauge wire and i connect it to my ground on my uh electrical like you have a plug in the house there's three prongs mm -hmm. the third prong is ground right <clears throat> so so you can just buy one of those at the hardware store like a three prong plug and send the send the charge from the plate with the wire to the ground and you when you do that nothing will pass through into the house Okay, so if I do what you're suggesting, then will the smart meter still send the data for them to read the? Yep, say that it, because it's it's not it doesn't need to go through your house to get. To that them. is the thing we are avoiding, right? Because you know they can directly communicate with each other without having a house being a conduit. Yeah, but if okay. the smart meter is this big, then the plate needs to be this big because you you don't want it to come in. It, it will communicate with them no problem. Okay, but but you're sending the, the pulse. The, the wave that's going into the house, you're sending it to ground. So any grounded charge plate will will block EMF, but you don't, here's why I don't recommend blocking the whole house because then you're going to block your beneficial EMF, right? which is the sun and the earth. You're going to be living in a void. And they did a study. There's a movie that came out many years ago called Resonance Beings of Frequency. 
Mm-hmm. It's not really a spiritual film. It's a film about EMF pollution. And they took this group of people and they put them in a cave underground where there's no more Tesla Schumann natural, you know, um, theta brainwave, uh, theta activity. Right. They got massively depressed down there. Yeah. They, they Some of the, some of the stu- subjects said they were suicidal. But then they put a transmitter down there. This is where we're getting into using artificial magnetic field generators like this one. Right. They all recovered without having to come up to the surface. All they needed were, were some natural harmonious pulses and the depression went away. That is incredible. Right. <clears throat> Right. right. That's the secret for us to use in our houses, right? So we can. Right. So your secret yeah. in your house is see, the, it all is the brain likes harmonic, natural rhythms like Earth, believe it or not, Venus is giving us its frequency. Mars is actually theta. No, sorry, it's alpha. Mar- Mars is alpha, right? Earth is theta. Venus is between the two, actually. And Venus is an octave of the um, solfeggio love frequency, by the way. It's really amazing. I did the math and calc. So what I do is <clears throat> on my website, you know, I I have all these transmitters um, that people can buy. Plus, I have coil beds that people can lay on. And if your nervous system, like imagine a guitar that's out of tune or a mm-hmm. piano completely out of tune. Right. Right. And if you play it, you're going to feel like crap because you're playing crappy music. But if I tune the piano and I play, oh, it's so nice. You're relaxed, right? Yeah. Or you you have an emotion. It's the same with our nervous system. Pythagoras called the, the human a musical instrument. He called it the musica humana. And the musica mundana was the music of the cosmos. So when the, when the human instrument inter, interfaces with cosmic, then it, it it merges with cosmos and it enters cosmic consciousness. Which, you know, human, the word human has hue in it, which is really right. the hue sound. And man actually means manifest. And it's a manifestation of human in the form of light. Right. And so that's where you get into your, like in the, in the gospel of the Egyptians, which was an early Christian um, um, teaching. It's not, it, it's a Christian Egyptian manuscript which, whose real name was the, the, the gospel of the great invisible spirit, there was a practice of toning seven vowels, not five vowels, because A and A ah are both A sounds. So, so they had seven vowels. Woman is the O vowel. Human is means both of us. And man is the A sound, right? Woman mm-hmm. and man. So all your vowels, when doing these vowel practices that were done, were were a very very beautiful practice in fact in my inner circle every wednesday people meet up at six in the morning and we we spent a whole week on one octave the next week we do the next octave the next week we do the next octave and right now every everybody's doing the binaural octaves of the ark of the covenant which is really incredible what it does to you see when you when you tune the human instrument suddenly you start to feel something so incredible. You go, why am I feeling this after I just tuned myself with proper frequencies? So we could technically run, like it was actually, why do we use 60 Hertz, for example, in our electricity in North America, right? And 60 Hertz, believe it or not, is actually a harmonic of 432, so I take 432 divided by 60 is is yeah, 7.2, which is the 72, right? So the the reason Tesla and Marconi, when they were bad, it was called the Battle of the Currents and the Battle of the Light Bulbs is is um sorry, not Marconi, it was um Thomas Edison and Tesla and the Battle of the Currents, and because Edison invented the light bulb, but his light bulbs were flickering. You know why? It wasn't alternating current and they they were they the pulse was too slow. So if you if you get a frequency generator and connect it to a light bulb, you see why we we got to 60 hertz. Because 60 hertz is actually a natural harmonic of the 432 um, middle A frequency. And so, but the problem with it 
is it's quite powerful with all the wiring in your walls, right? You'll notice when there's a power outage, all of a sudden you'll feel so peaceful. Like, oh my God. Right, powerful. right. So, you know, I want to go back when you were talking about the fact that if your house is not grounded, because I use a different tool to measure a dirty electricity in every single room in my house. And I learned that every single room, especially brand new homes, have dirty electricity. Does that have any correlation with your grounding? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, a lot of your, your devices in your house, so your appliances, like a computer, right? mm -hmm. this is not running at 60 cycles. So, so when you plug an appliance into the wall, there's a transformer right, in the appliance, which converts, computers are running on DC, so there's no pulse, right, and, and, but a blender is AC, right, you turn on a blender, go turn on a blender and put this in magnetic mode, and there's a huge field there, mm -hmm. right, now, so your fridge, every appliance has a transformer, a rectifier, and then it has resistors, the more sensitive um, electronics, like a computer, if, it, if you gave it all the power out of the wall, the computer would blow up, mm. right? So then you have these resistors and resistors radiate in order to resist. And um, your nervous system, by the way, has resistance. It actually has a lot of resistance. And if you put, if you use a common voltmeter and measure your resistance, er, if you have resistance and energy moves through resistance, there's an energy field. Hence okay. the, the feeling of your space is, is it, Einstein said the field determines the particle and the particle doesn't determine the field. It's the sole <laughs> governing agency of the particle, Einstein said. So your field governs the, the physiology more than the physiology governs <laughs> how you feel. Right, isn't it so, ironic, the whole chicken or egg, right? And we never acknowledge the very fact that the invisible field is where all the information lies, which is why actually the interesting thing is people who can truly see the disease before it happens, they can read the disease in your aura. Right. Because that's, that's where it really that. is. So that's why for me, my, I spent my whole life practicing meditation and I did a 45 minute breathing before our session this morning. And then I do frequency tuning uh, and frequency tuning can be done if you, if you if you really have to do this properly like imagine if you're going to start chanting vowels at any old pitch you might actually be out of tune and be detuning your field rather than tuning it so if, if you went to a music teacher and you and your music teacher is teaching your kid how to become a choir singer right, right. do re mi fa so la ti do now those each one of those is an octave so you start with the middle A at 440 or 432. And then an octave is the frequency divided by two to go down, divided by two to go down, or times two to go up, right? So that's very simple math, right? So you take a frequency and you keep doubling it to go up an octave, right? But there's different types of octaves that I've discovered in nature and natural rhythms that are actually more beautiful than times two but times two actually is harmonic it doesn't distort right now if i just pitch with my voice at any old pitch i'm just going to chant ohm i might not be in the correct pitch so what i i i have a meditation class where people listen to they're going to work at a certain frequency at a certain octave for a week and the next week they're going to go to the next octave mm -hmm. and the next week they're going to go to the next octave so you have a full sweep in perfect pitch so that when you're toning with your voice, right? Like in Ekankar, they chant hue, which is the U sound, right? right? But um, we should actually do all the vowels, but there's more than five that, that, that I teach. And you, if you hold your hand, like right now, put your hand on your chest and just say, ah. Okay. You feel your bone and your chest vibrating against your hand. Right? right. And when you talk, those little vibrations, because all those electrolytes in your bones mm. are physioelectric, when you make sound, you're emitting 
the crystals start emitting energy. Right, right. So you're activating your crystalline self. So, you know, piezoelectric is a conversion of energy from mechanical to electrical. What is pyroelectric? Because I know you use Pyro that. is heat. So pyro okay. means heat. So if your inner fire is really weak, one of the best yeah. things for people to do is to lay on my coil beds. And my coils are very different than, there's a lot of mats out there. People, I'm not going to name companies, but um, a lot of mats out there, basically they all use the same principle. They'll use copper wire, <clears throat> insulated copper wire. And a lot of them are just little circles and they distribute throughout the mat. And then when <clears throat> you deliver frequencies, the, 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 the magnetic field that radiates off of the coils passes through the body and stimulates all your electrolytes, your nervous system, and causes vibrations. And that, that ohmic resistance is heat, right? Ohmic resistance causes heat. In fact, my coils get really warm. This, this piece of technology here is called the cube. It's actually incredibly sophisticated. Mm. It spins clockwise and counterclockwise and corresponds to the left and the right brain, the left and the right heart, right? Because your heart has left and right Right. Ventricle, left and right, right, aorta, left and so everything is left and right. But if left and right in the heart field and the brain field are out of phase, you experience pure chaos. And all the hundreds of thousands at this point of microwave towers in our cities are creating total chaos in the human nervous system and right. the human heart system. So and that leads to depression. Yeah, and that's why I want to solve that. So I actually want you to cover the basic thing, David, because you have already invented these devices to help people mitigate the uh, negative electromagnetic field in the house, right? I really want you to tell me, like, like the one, of course, you have in the, in the background, if you want to talk about that, but you said you have transmitter on your website that people can buy, right? And and yeah, there's there's lots of them on my website. First, people can get the bed systems, which okay. is actually the most effective because you're laying right on top of it. You can also get, see, all what's different about my systems <clears throat> versus any PMF is I use gems. And when gems, because they're crystals, are pulsed with frequencies, they emit. So in this one, I have on the top, I'll take one of these off. I have a, a a magnet with a ruby in the inside. Yeah, ruby will fall I see out. that. There's a ruby in there. And mm -hmm. so rubies are really, these are lab-grown rubies uh, made in Europe. They're very high quality. There's a lot of crappy ones online. So I have all my, this is my personal crystal collection. And so all my crystals and gems in the field will then start emitting their field into the house. And there's a huge difference when I run this with no crystals versus with crystals, right? And in this particular device, I'm using copper, which is diamagnetic material. Diamagnetism means that when another magnetic, see, everything is magnetic. Every If you go on your periodic table of elements, which I see behind you there on your right. Yeah, I should you know, Okay, yeah, bring that up. So <laughs> people think of a magnet as this is a magnet and this is this is iron yeah. and you can magnetize iron and make a magnet. But actually everything is magnetic. It's either diamagnetic, which means it will, you know, when you put two magnets together, the same side facing, they like to push away from each other. Right. That's diamagnetism. Like the bells. <laughs> so copper will create a kind of force field effect, which is really amazing, which means when magnetic waves come in to my house, it will repel them and create a, but it also is, is spinning in the electricity spins, electromagnetism, it spins through copper at three quarters the speed of light. Mm. And this is actually two coils and they're both spinning counter rotational to each other. So there's between the two of them, I'm spinning faster than the speed of light mm. in the vortex. And if you could see the field coming off of this, when I have this on with my trifield, I can measure it 15 feet away, which means the effective part of the field is 30 feet wide, wow. 35 feet wide. So it's huge and you it's verifiable on your tri-field meter. And, and it also has a little bit of RF, but the 
the RF is harmonic because here's here's what here's where it gets really interesting. I looked at a lot of these beds and I look at what they're made of. And when you understand, see my this is aluminum. And a and a sapphire is an aluminum crystal. And actually, the throne of God in Ezekiel, God is sitting on a sapphire throne for a very important reason. Um, um, aluminum is paramagnetic. And, and a paramagnetic and a diamagnetic material are not magnets until I turn this on. And these aluminum plates will vibrate and hum. I actually have a video of this that, that I, can, I can show here, people here in a minute. And, it's, and you're wondering, why is aluminum vibrating? And the speed of sound in aluminum is over 11,000 miles an hour. And the speed of sound in the airwaves is only like 760-something miles an hour. Right? That's pretty amazing. So I wanted to ask you, David, that because you are so surrounded by all these gadgets that you've created yourself, and you are kind of a little bit spoiled in a way. So, <laughs> so when you do, let's say if you go away from your house, uh, you know, also like even with your children, right? Because they behave a certain way because you are bombarding them with these frequencies. So it becomes easier to rear, to do child rearing because you have these devices that keeps them kind of a little bit on a certain frequency and vibration. My question is when you are in other places, do you feel the difference? Oh yeah. Like, you know, when, <laughs> when, when I meditate at home, I, I mean, see, first of all, if I tune my house or my workspace, we've even found people that have like, this is, happens to be one of my most expensive devices, but I have devices that are much, much less expensive than that. But all of my devices are actually way less expensive than some of the leading ones that people are selling out there that actually I can't verifiably see any energy field coming off of some of these things people are selling. So the first thing you should do is I'm not saying my device is the is the only one on the planet, but actually personally, see a magnetic wave goes through a material, it carries the vibration of the material with it. So if I'm laying on a rubber mat and it has coils in it, I don't want the vibration of rubber in my body because it's kind of like homeopathy, right? Everything has a vibration. So I've even put chamomile tea in here and I walk around the house and I feel like I dreamt a cup of chamomile tea and I can almost smell it in my nervous system. And then I take the chamomile tea bag out of the coil and then it goes away, right? So I can put any herbal plant. I can even in, in put, and people have done this. In fact, it was Valerie Hunt, a U, UCLA medical doctor and I knew Valerie. I spent hours and hours with her on the phone way before she died. And, and she she actually developed a camera that can see the human aura and found changes in the aura when people were oming, chanting. You could see the aura tremendously improve. And I can actually show people this video. And I wanted to make, since you're talking about it, this is my aura goggles. Oh, cool. <laughs> now, this is made by a scientist in uh, Tennessee, by the way. It's a handmade. And mm -hmm. he doesn't use the same uh, thing as Killian. Remember, you already told me about Cur Curlian is a galvanic skin response. It's not the true aura. It, it is real, really proven that if you put lots of moisture on, on, a, on a subject's finger, the aura will change. So it's... Mm -hmm. It's more showing you where there's breaks in a person's energy field, but it's not actually the aura. Valerie Hunt was really seeing the aura. She's not using curlian. She's using um, a, a very different technique, which she described to me. And we're trying to figure out how to duplicate it um, right know, now. Yeah, and actually that combined with disinin, which is another thing that Elizabeth was saying that if you can get a you know, hand on that, we can create oral goggles. But this one uses diacyanin, by the way. That's what mm -hmm. this oral goggles use. And and it's handmade and it's very hard for him to make a lot because diacyanin is not available. Oh, uh, I'd love to see what those are like. I, I know. Mean, when I do, see, I, I have a whole video. I, I mean, I could show a lot of videos here, but I, I can just, you know, send them to people who are interested. I think that's what we'll do because, you know, I know we've been talking for a while and we don't, you know, of course you and I can talk for days, but for the sake of getting the message across, let's let's bring it down where we can do yeah, so the summary. The, the the basically in summary is we need to tune our nervous systems regularly, which I do with my bed systems, or a coil like this can tune the whole house, so I don't even need to lay down. 
mm -hmm. right? I have single coils, I have bed coils, I have wands, I have staffs. And I find if you tune the nervous system regularly, I mean, one thing I've noticed about my children is, is they have exceeding levels of creativity and happiness. I mean, my little girl, Astaria back here is, is, is all, I mean, the smile is almost permanently fixed on her face. And when I meditate in these fields, I go into supreme ecstasy. It's supernatural levels of ecstasy. And, and that I'll carry that with me throughout my day. I'll find I get stressed out very infrequently. I'll get upset very rarely, you know, and, and it's usually for a good reason, but it's, I, I'm not a person who gets upset very often. And I find that by having a tuned field, you don't have to have this thing on all the time. And I've had experiences with this that are literally, truly not believable. People would think I'm making this stuff up. You know, the people who use these things <laughs> tell me about the experiences they have, and they'd never, ever want to send it back. But I can tell you that once you're, see, if you're meditating and living in a house that is detuned, which almost every house is, it's harder to get into those natural rhythms of good feeling. Mm -hmm. well, eventually, it culminates in supreme levels of bliss, but just human levels of bliss and happiness, you could call. It's much more difficult because the nervous system can be inducted, bombarded by harmful frequencies. Right. And most of us are living in cities where you can walk around with one of these and the RF one. And this only sees eight gigahertz. So it won't see a lot of the um, internet bands are as high as 30 gigahertz. This meter sees a lot higher, more, way more expensive. What meter. is that meter called? This, this is, um, um, I'm trying to see the name of the company on it, uh, PCE uh, EM29. This sees uh -huh. the X, Y, and Z axis oh, wow. of, right? Yeah. It sees volts per meter squared, watts per meter squared. Um, it, it sees volts per centimeter squared. So th it's like, it's, if you could even see energy in a single centimeter, that's a lot of energy going on, right? So basically, now, okay. But another point about these meters is if there's tectonic plates underneath you rubbing, you'll get RF in the middle of nowhere like mm. in nature. And those those are kind of the natural rhythmic earth vibrations I'm talking about. That if you block your whole house, if you're one of these people who wants to live in an electromagnetic cave, then you're not going to get cosmos. You're not going to get the rays from the stars. You're actually going to block the sun. <laughs> you're going to block the earth and you're going to die. Exactly. I mean, mentally, you, you will you will get depressed because you're going to block. You, you can't live without electro naturally tuned harmonics so all of my systems are systems to help retune the body the bed the wands and i don't use unnatural materials we use a <clears throat> cotton canvas liner to put the coils in and you put the bit you put the four coils underneath your sofa or underneath your bed and you connect it to an amplifier and i have a huge menu on an ipad of frequencies that'll take you 10 years to get through all of these things right wow. so you work with certain frequency sets and you're just like you know how your nervous system can memorize a song mm -hmm. like if i listen to pink floyd suddenly i know all the lyrics but if you tell me <clears throat> to start singing dark side of the moon i can't do it right but as soon as i hear the melody i can do it your nervous system starts building what are called neural pathways <clears throat> based on these frequencies that are going into you. And that and that's what I think explains my little Astaria's amazing creativity. Like I give her art supplies. I don't even tell her. The stuff she comes up with at seven years old and six years old is blowing my mind. I don't even want to put her in school yet because, because I'm seeing... I want to solidify my children's happiness first and their heart filled first before they go out there. Right. Because you want to give them a good foundation. And I want them to radiate. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting what you just said about that, because I wanted to say that it's like a chain, right? Like you pick up, like, you know, like, you know, so like you said, neural pathway, right? So it's connected. So you pick up the one end of the string and then you get the whole lyrics. 
that comes right and the, and i also have these frequencies called golden ratio brain waves right so the golden ratio is everywhere in nature and instead of just doing like i've seen a lot of beds and they'll give you five hertz because why because five hertz is between you know um uh, delta and theta right well, well but five hertz doesn't exist anywhere show me where it exists in nature right i've i've had meetings with some of the biggest companies who make these frequency beds and th they're just making up stuff like you can't just put a number in there so i i built the golden ratio based on fibonacci sequence the 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 theta part of the brain the sorry the delta the theta the um alpha the beta and the gamma Th those are your your major brainwave categories but i put them in harmonic bands that are fibonacci and golden ratio instead of just coming up with an abject which means meaningless basically right right so because you're using all the ingredients that we have in nature and you're also using sacred geometry to make sure that it truly harmonizes you inside out right so so that's really good so i think for now, so yeah, David, this has been amazing, by the way, because you actually explained to everybody that your electrolytes and your minerals is the key to keep your body healthy. And for you to protect yourself from negative EMF, there are many ways to do it. One of them Yeah, you can't block. So it, so it's really important to understand. Yeah, I think you should block your smart meter with the method I gave you. So you're That's gonna get about a, a quarter inch of steel or copper, hang it on the wall, put a picture in front of it. But if it's not grounded, it won't do anything. <laughs> the, the the electromagnetism will go right through the car. So I have to make sure I can ground it as well. Okay. Drill a little hole, attach a nut and a bolt. So you take your you take your wire, like you know. So here, so this is a 18 gauge speaker wire right here, right? Okay. Which is what I use for my calls. Right. And you'll you'll just wrap that around the screw the screw and then tighten it down and okay. then. Send it to buy one of those three prong plugs at the hardware store. Connect the other end to the third prong and plug it in, and you're grounded. And mm -hmm. your smart meter radiation won't get in the house. Like I thought of selling these things, but honestly, <clears throat> nobody, nobody really. It's getting to the point where nobody actually cares. They think, well, I'm still alive, but wait until you have cognitive failure. Yeah, yeah, because I would. I would buy it if you would have. It, ta it takes time <laughs> to have cognitive failure. You say, oh, so for three years you've been living with a smart meter. You think you're fine. And then all of a sudden you and your husband are breaking up, right? Which is happening all over the world right now because everybody's <laughs> nervous systems are like this. That's why I call the nervous system a nervous system until it's that is tuned. True. You're until so it's tuned. <laughs> and when, when you have a tuned system, it's not a nervous system. It's hilarious that we have the name as nervous. You're right, because it kind of makes you nervous thinking about nervous system. But the thing is, it's like rock being boiled in the hot water, right? So you're never going to know that you're being boiled because complacency, slow. People are complacent because they figure, oh, well, I guess, you know, we have all these um, microwave towers around us. I'm fine. Meanwhile, I'm fighting with my kids and my wife at home. Oh, I'm perfectly fine. And then next thing you know, they're, you know, drinking too much. And they're like, you know, it couldn't be because of all the radiation. If you if you could put those goggles that you had on yes. and see all the energy fields oh around my God, us, including the that. electrical fields, <laughs> it'd be like, you would be awake, man. See, you would go on, you and you would see the crazy waves and then you would see the harmony oh. waves. I know. And, I can't. I can't wait to have this goggle where they, where you can start seeing people's aura, and then people who don't have aura, you know right away that they are not even human, or they're yeah. something else, right? I mean, or they're clone, or they're. I don't know. I mean, it's it's just. See, that's why that when you mentioned pyroelectricity. See, the bones need to get hot, and and if you're out doing hard physical labor, you're gonna radiate really well i used to be a tree planter for 23 years and you know we're laughing at the end of the day you know in the truck and we're covered in dirt but we're really happy people because i've been touching trees and bending down and plugging them into the earth like 1500 trees a day which is insane on the body that, oh my god that sounds fun though Hot physical <laughs> condition in those days but see the people who are not heating up their core <clears throat> that's where they can benefit from my systems because laying on on the bed like i had a, i had a guy and his wife and they're, they're you know he's elderly they couldn't sleep had real sleep problems and he was really against all technology this guy i won't name him 
And I said, just lay on the bed. I'm going to play you some natural frequencies on my coil bed. He passed out in my house for two and a half hours. Well, we had guests over. <laughs> but that's good. What is this? Why did I get so relaxed? And then the next day, he brought his wife who couldn't sleep. You know, we can't sleep because of all the irritation of these right. waves. She passed out in my house for two and a half hours, just like that, just from the vibration. I think that I would love to perform an experiment. If you want to be so far, I would have come to your house to see how I feel. Because my feeling is the best gauge for me, right? Like yeah, I'm, your feel, I'm, see, that's why testimonials don't impress me because people can make them up. So people, when you're buying a device, don't listen to that stuff. How do people feel? after they do a session on this is number one, not testimonials, not science. I tell people how things work so they know what works, right? right? With all PMF devices, you have an amplifier. And if your amplifier is cheap, made in China, stuck in a plastic box, you're gonna have a low quality signal. So you have your frequencies and if they're not good, and somebody made them up, you might detune the brain. Then you have your amp and then you have an emitter. And that emitter might be a box. It might be a TV screen. It might be a coil. It might be a rod. So there's all kinds of ways to create emitters. I put gems, like we put real tourmaline in the core of our wands and rubies because I know, I understand how things work. If you pulse a crystal, you'll get ruby. Love vibrations. Rubies are one of my favorite vibrations. You know, you start to fall in love with vibrations. You go, oh, I love the vibrations of rubies. And you're feeling this whole ruby high, right? Yeah. Well, the other ones don't have those. They just have, most of them have some type of a coil. I've seen one lately. My assistant sent me, somebody is taking, um, um, the, they're called ferrite cores. It's a donut made of um, purified steel. And somebody's calling it a PMF device. That'll only work on a really weak amplifier. If you, if you put real power in there, it's going to blow up the amp. So a lot of people don't know what they're doing when they're making them. And, and there was a guy that worked for me and he's copied all my inventions and had them made by amateurs and they're blowing up people's amps. And he, he still, he, he sells way more than I do because he puts on this big show, it's lying to people saying, if you get this coil, it's gonna bring you wealth and you're gonna get rich. And, but it's true, I have had people put systems in their business and you're walking down the street and you don't know why you're gonna go in the shop. There's a vibration coming from there. Your nervous system is picking it up. And then the other shop just has regular Wi-Fi, <laughs> and you're like, whoa. See, exactly. your nervous system is part of your intuition. <clears throat> Another part of our intuition are the temples. You know, the very, very soft vibrations come in and we feel. So when we feel a messed up vibration, we're, we may not walk into that space. Right. We feel a nice vibration. You know, you come in. And I, with the beauty of my systems, you can play music through these. So I can take healing music and i demonstrated this live just recently is most stereo speakers start at 35 hertz 38 hertz right so they won't play the low end at all i can send one of my channels on my amp to my speakers and play my sound healing music and the other channel to this and i can measure a true theta frequency below one hertz coming off of this which is really in the music, but this mm -hmm. ordinary speakers won't put that up. So wow. studies have been done at universities that if we can induce the, 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 the Delta and the theta part of the brain through, through, through magnetic resonance, we can heal people. I, I've read these studies done at, to, at top universities. The problem is speakers won't put out at that level. So that actually is pretty amazing because it enables the healing because it puts you in that trance where you can be calmer, you can be more relaxed. Right, you can have that music, and the music is actually radiating off the coils. <clears throat> 35 feet across is huge, and that's up and down, 35 feet. This So that's your effective healing um, diameter yeah. coming off of my cubes. And that means anybody within that, within that radius, half of the radius diameter is 15, 17 feet, 
which is actually a holy of holies measurement, by the way, in Solomon's temple. The, the radius of Solomon's temple at 20 cubits, 10 cubits, 17 feet, um, is, is like having a temple, holographic temple, in your house or business. Now, I can't tell you that how happy people are once they get these things going. But here's what blew my mind recently about this. This is not plugged in right now. And the other night, I woke up in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. I meditated on the couch, which is right next to it. There was so much bliss. I said, this is way beyond normal. All I have to do is run this thing really intensely, like three times a week. And, and the, the field stays. And I really figured out, how is it staying? Because there are substratums in our airspace where all of the molecules and atoms, because this is spinning at three quarters of the speed of light mm -hmm. times two, all those atoms above the house and in the house are still spinning after I turn it off. Of course they are. Because if I hold a you know, magnet near this, the magnet starts vibrating in my hand and every single atom is a dipole. They have, they have your positive and negative electron spin so that they're dipoles. Everything's a magnet actually. And so all magnets respond to a magnetic field. So they're, the whole house has a vortex that will spin for days and days and days. It'll take days to slow down. And then I run it again. Wow. So, so the question is, I don't have to have this on all the time. Right. <laughs> and I went to sleep in the middle of the night. And all again, I saw all this bright light. <clears throat> and the house is pitch black. And, and I went out of body and I floated through these beautiful clouds. And I saw this blind. It was like a near-death experience. This happened to me a couple of nights ago. Huh. And, and I'm like, if I don't do this, I guarantee you, even if I meditate, which I've been doing every day for 45 plus years, I won't have that experience. I do know how to produce bliss without any of these harmonic field generators for sure. And you can argue and say, well, I don't need anything. Well, then why did Moses have a staff? Why did God give him a staff? Because a staff is an antenna whose precise height is a quarter of the wavelength that comes off of it. It's a tuned instrument. It's called an instrument. Right. Why not? Why have a guitar and play beautiful music? You know, I don't need anything. I'm just going to sit in a cave. Right, it, becomes, so do it. it becomes an extension of you, right? And it helps you amplify. What it helps doing. you. See, a musical instrument, when you hear a rhythm and a harmony, it pulls your nervous system into that harmony. Right. So you're using a tool to help you feel a harmony and a rhythm. That's what this is. This right. is beyond a stereo speaker by... I mean, I've seen, okay, there's a company, I, I have speakers over here, they're called Bowkers and Wilkins, very good speakers. My system is only $4,000. They sell systems that are over $150,000, okay? And their $150,000 speakers will put out 17 hertz. Mm. So better than any speaker on earth. But if I add this to the same circuit, I can put out half a hertz and all the way up. And I can go past their high end is 20,000. I can put out megahertz out of this. So I'm this thing is full frequency spectrum. The question is, what do you want to put through it? You can put music through this. You can put all my harmonic uh, frequency library through this. You will feel completely different. Absolutely. It will change. It changes people's lives. Music changed my life. So when people tell me that, because I'm going to do the antithesis of this, we don't need anything. We're fine. Meanwhile, they're screaming and yelling with their wife and their husband and their, and their break and the kids are screaming. And then when you start putting harmonies in the house, the, the kids sleep better. They're happier. You have way less arguing going on in the house because you have a harmony going on vibrational. Everything is, to me, everything is frequency. Oh. Everything is vibration. And if you don't have a harmony and you have disharmony, you've got a problem to the nervous system. And that's what this modern technology has bombarded the human civilization with that's why our suicides have skyrocketed that's why you know the 
the, the, the mental illness and the massive epidemic of depression, it all arrived when these microwave towers arrived. Mm. It, it just, it, no, it did, it's not that it didn't exist before, it's just exploded. And right, it has made it harder. So I think, like you said it, right, that the reason we need extra help now is because we have extra challenges. So how do you complement that? So that's why this is a great conversation. Uh, and I really learned so much, David, and th I really thank you for educating everybody who's going to stumble onto this video. And of course, uh, I would like to encourage other people who have questions regarding this, we, what we discussed, and also other subjects that they would like us to talk about, because maybe this is how we can exchange with each other and raise awareness so people can do whatever is best for them to solve their problems, to bring more harmony in their lives. And uh, so for now, I'm ending this. And David, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>